Boys Basketball Tournament brings plenty of storylines, and that's certainly the case today in Class C2. Amherst and Freeman meet in the state championship just a year removed from playing each other in the state quarterfinals. The Broncos pulled off the improbable upset as the eighth seed knocking off the top-ranked Falcons, and the rematch is in the title game. Amherst is coming in as the two-seed. Broncos down early. Austin Adelonga finally gets them on the board with the three ball. It snaps a 9-0 Falcon scoring run. Final seconds of the half now. Carter Ruse inbounding for Freeman, and he lobs it up for Taylor Varkowski. The alley -oop goes and the Falcons soar to a 22-8 lead at the half. But Amherst is fighting back in the third all right. Scout Simmons goes ISO all the way to the rack. He cuts the deficit to nine and later in the third. Tash Hadwiger going to work. He bullies his way into the paint and rises up for the tough jumper. Amherst is down just five heading into the fourth. But the Falcons respond right away and Hayden Jennings hits the dagger in the corner. Three goes Freeman up 14 and they ride that till the very end. The Falcons win the class C two state championship. It's their first title since 2010. Amherst ends the year as state runner up, adding a state basketball trophy to the case for the first time in 36 years. Super proud and just, you know, they'll, they'll always hold a special place in my heart. So that's why it makes it so tough that it's over. I hope a lot of these young kids, you know, look to what these guys did and know, you know, and know that it's possible. You know, a small town in Amherst, Nebraska, can take a group all the way down here to Big Lincoln and um, compete with anybody. Now to local fours Mason Kern, who is down in Lincoln for the special day. Central Nebraska is well represented here in Lincoln today at the NSAA State Boys Basketball Championships. Amherst makes a run to the state championship for the first time since 1987. They fall to Class C2 top seeded Freeman, but despite the unfortunate result, they're playing for a much bigger purpose today. Taylor Tramp died when he was 15 years old, just a freshman at Amherst, playing for the boys' basketball team. He would have been a senior this year, and the team playing with him heavy in their hearts today. They wrap his jersey around the Class C2 state runner-up trophy, and again, playing with heavy hearts. 